There's a lot of you out there that have no clue who I am, but there's also a lot of you out there that know who I am. And for those who don't know who I am or what I do, my name is Frank Bernardo. I'm the owner of House of Salons, Salon Suite Consulting and Development Services. And for all of you out there who don't know anything about Salon Suites, well, Salon Suites are buildings comprised of individual, fully furnished Salon Suites to where all the beauty professional has to do is bring their own tools and they're open and ready for business. 22 years ago, I was the first one to develop this concept. 22 years to date, it's one of the biggest franchises going and it's projected to go through the ceiling. Because let's face it, in the beauty profession, the natural progression is for the beauty professional to go to school, work in a salon for a couple years, build their clientele, and then what do they do? They leave. Where do they leave? They leave to salon suites. 22 years ago, who would have thought it would have developed into this mega, mega franchising and mega business? I did, all right? But guess what? There's a lot of you out there who are thinking about getting into this business. And you're looking and you're going, wow, is this starting to get oversaturated? Well, that, that's kind of a loaded question, oversaturated. Let's just call it competition. Like with any good business, you're gonna to have to fight competition. Competition is gonna come. So you gotta be prepared for it, all right? So in designing these buildings, uh, the suites, you gotta be ahead of the game or else you're gonna fall behind and you're gonna fail. Now, if there's anyone out there looking to open up their very own salon suite business, I'm your guy. There's no one out there with more experience than me. There's nothing I haven't seen. There's nothing I haven't been through in this business. I'm currently working with 35 clients throughout the USA. We're putting up buildings. We're making their dreams a reality. And the best thing about me is I think outside the box. I'm not the person that's gonna let competition, you know, come in and take your business. No, we're gonna stay ahead of the competition and that's what's gonna separate me. But that's not what this video is for. This video is for a brand new concept that I'm gonna launch. This concept has never been done before, just like the salon suite business was never done 22 years ago when I developed it. Who knew? So I've got a brand new concept. It's a different profession, but it's the same sweet concept. You want to know what it is? All right. I haven't revealed this because this has been over three years in the making. I've been developing, researching, uh, refining everything. And now I want to bring it out to you. And I want to give four individuals an opportunity of a lifetime to go in business with me. It is, it's gonna be an opportunity of a lifetime. Can you imagine getting in the ground floor of the salon suite business 22 years ago? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine if, if you just jumped in and started a franchise? Most of these franchises, what do they got? Two, three, 400 buildings up across America. So. Why can't a new concept do the same? It can, and I got it. Again, I'm looking for four hungry individuals, investors, to jump on the bandwagon with me, to jump into this business and make this. I don't wanna say the next best thing to Salon Suites because I think it's gonna be every bit as good because it's an untapped market. So what is it? Are you ready? All right. Tattoo Suites. Tattoo Suites. The name of my company is House of Ink. So instead of Salon Suites, I'm going to build buildings to cater to the tattoo artists just as I started building buildings to cater to the beauty professionals. Let's face it. When you walk into a tattoo shop, and there's not many of us out there that don't have tattoos, let's face it. What's the first thing that you see when you walk into a tattoo shop? It's an open floor. 
all right? Open space. The tattoo artists, they're, they're all contractors, right? They're not employees, they're contractors. And what does that tattoo artist have to give the house, the owner of the building, what percentage does that tattoo artist have to give the house out of every tattoo he does? Well, most of the time it's 50%. So 50% is going straight to the owner. And, and why is that? The tattoo artist cannot afford to put up their whole building. They just can't do it. And when you put up a building, you gotta contract other tattoo artists, you know, to, to help with the rent and make money, all right? That becomes a turnstile. And when you're working with tattoo artists, if you've ever had a tattoo, again, you're on the open floor. There's absolutely no privacy there. There's no privacy for the tattoo artist, and there's no privacy. Let's just say you're a woman. All right, say you wanna get a tattoo on your breast, okay? Or maybe on your rear end, okay? Guess what, what do they do? They put you in the middle of the floor and they put up these screens around. That's so invasive and so unprivate. Why don't we give the tattoo artists the same amenities that we give the beauty professionals? Why don't we make them a room? with all the amenities that they need, everything they need in their room. They lock the door, they come and go as they please. Everything is theirs. Does that make sense? You follow where I'm going here. Listen to this concept. And the best thing about this, for their clients, they now have privacy. They walk into a fully furnished suite, close the curtains, total privacy. It's privacy for both. Does it make sense? Let's talk about money. Talk about numbers. When you look at what that tattoo artist has to give the house, 50%, do you know what that equates to a year? That could be $60,000. Guess what? I can save you $50,000 a year by renting a space from me with more amenities, everything you need in your suite. You wanna fight if you're a tattoo artist and you're watching this? Do you wanna have to fight to get on that printer because other tattoo artists are busy printing up stuff and everything's getting delayed? Who wants that? Wouldn't it be nice to have all that in your private room to go at your luxury, do as you please, cater to your client in a private atmosphere, an atmosphere that you can express yourself. We're gonna allow the tattoo artists to express themselves in that room. That's, that's what they're about. You know, it's not that they're renting a space from an owner of a tattoo parlor that's expressing himself, all right? Artists are all different, and I'm gonna tell you right now, tattoo artists, you're all very unique. Trust me, you are. I walk into the tattoo salons, I see your cabinet set up with all your little trinkets out there because you're expressing yourself, all right? And I want you to do that to the fullest extent but you're only gonna get that if you lease a building. For me, no one's gonna cater to you the way I'm gonna cater, and no one will put more money, $50,000 on average, in that tattoo artist's pocket each and every year. So let me just back this down a little bit. If you're an investor and you're listening to this, all right, same concept, as salon suites, only we're gonna flip the professional. It's a win-win. What tattoo artist is not gonna come to a space with more amenities, privacy, and put $50,000 a year more in their pocket? It's a no brainer and I fully expect this to go through the ceiling just like when I developed the salon suite concept 22 years ago. So here's the facts. 
Tattoo artists, most of them, most people in the world can't afford to put up their own building. You know, so they're stuck, you know, being a contractor for someone, someone who has the building, someone that did the build out. You know, are the tattoo artists happy there? They're not, but it's the only place they can go. So now I'm gonna develop a suite for them, a suite that has all the amenities that they need. And best of all worlds, we're gonna put in fifty to sixty thousand dollars more a year in their pocket by that artist renting a space from House of Ink. I'm gonna say it again. This is a no brainer. The thought process shouldn't go anywhere past what I'm saying. If this doesn't make sense to you, then you need to bow out. If this makes sense to you, let's continue. Now, since this artist is making all of that money and this artist now has all the amenities that they need in their own private room to where they can come and go as they please, Tell me, tell me who's not gonna do it. Tell me what tattoo artist is not gonna listen. Trust me, you're gonna get their attention. We're gonna get their attention. I'm 100% positive on it. Just like I was 100% positive that I would get every beauty professional's attention when I told them that I could put 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars a year more in their pocket. The concept, the concept, think of the concept. All right, again, for hungry individuals who want to get in a ground floor opportunity in a business to where there's no competition. There's not a single building in America that caters to the tattoo professional. And it's not just tattoo. All right, we're also gonna incorporate the microbladers in there, all right? I would love to see a great mix of microbladers, tattoo artists, everything that has to do with ink in one building. Are you getting the concept? It's camaraderie. We're gonna, we're gonna have men, we're gonna have women working in there, we're gonna, have, we're gonna make that atmosphere very uh, conducive and very comfortable for, for all walks of life. I mean, let's face it, guys, do you wanna work with guys you know, all day, every day? Women, do you wanna work with women all day, every day? You know, you walk into a building, you get a nice mix, you develop all these friendships, and that's what I like to do. My buildings are not gonna be very large. They're gonna be more on the smaller side. They could be anywhere from six, eight, 10, or 12 suites. And let, let that building build the camaraderie, all right? Let them build their friendship. Let them get into their comfort zone. If someone needs help with something, with a client, they can all work together, but yet they've got their own business. That's my philosophy in the salon suite business, all right? I don't believe in opening up giant buildings because it's a turnstile, it's a turnstile. We don't want that, all right? We want smaller buildings built beautifully with all the professional needs. That's how you make this successful. So let's talk about the common area. When you walk into my House of Ink building in the common area, oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be edgy. That's the way we have to make it. We have to make it edgy for the tattoo artist, anyone in the ink business. But it's gonna be a classy edginess. Does that make sense? We're gonna give it gonna give them that look that they're looking for. And then each artist is gonna express themselves however they want in their room, giving them the ability to do what they want, how they want, when they want, and put fifty to sixty thousand dollars more a year in their pocket. So are you understanding the concept? Does it make sense? Now a lot of you, and understandably so, you're gonna have to sit and you're gonna have to absorb. And you have a decision to make. You can open up a salon suite building, all right? And I'm the guy for you. No issues with that. We'll make it the most fabulous building will make it to where we could stay in competition and to where you're gonna be in business for 30 and 40 years. It's not the issue. But if you want to get into something that's untapped, and here's the best part of it. The four investors that I'm looking for, it's minimal investment. 
All right, you're gonna have to call me to talk about it. I'm telling you, it is minimal. This is gonna be far less expensive to come in with me than to open up even a six or eight suite salon suite building, okay? That's the fact. And once you get in with me, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna put up the prototype building. We're gonna get that leased out, all right? We're gonna look at that building, and then we're gonna go, what can we do different here? Or I should say, I'm gonna go, what can we do different here? How can we make the second building better, all right? I'm gonna do that, not an issue. And we're gonna put up another building. And then after that building, the investment part is gonna be done for whoever came in with me. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna take this to franchise across America. Across America. This is gonna be the biggest thing you can ever imagine. Can you imagine tattoo suites in California? All those artists out there, Florida, Arizona, anywhere. Think, think about this. Think about the amount of buildings that are gonna be going up everywhere. Think about no competition. We don't have to worry about that. The competition, it's gonna come. In fact, there's gonna be a lot of you watching this video right now, you're gonna jump on it, but go ahead. Most of you that jump on going into salon suites on your own, most of you have it wrong. Most of you fail. I'm currently helping several people get out of the hole because they went into the salon suite industry on their own without the knowledge, okay? This is the same animal. If you go in this on your own without the knowledge, you're gonna fail, all right? I got 22 years of experience. I got a track record, all right? So you can look at me and say, well, this is a brand new business. Mm, not really. This business, this concept has been around for 22 years and it has been super successful. Again, there's thousands of salon suite buildings up there. So, if you wanna get in on the ground floor of an exciting, brand new tattoo suite concept, I urge you to pick up the phone and give me a call. There's a lot to go over. I wanted to give you just the gist of it right now, okay? Just wanted to filter this out a little bit, start putting it in your ears. Now, how long is it gonna take me to get four investors? I don't think very long, because it is a good investment, especially if you know about the salon suite industry, and especially if you wanna get in on a ground floor without competition. Does it make sense? If it does, here's my number, it's on the screen right now. Pick up the phone and give me a call and let's talk about it. I will give you all the details. I'm only looking for four people. My videos and advertisement is going out all over the United States as we speak. So if this is something that interests you, don't procrastinate because you're gonna be out. My name is Frank Bernardo, House of Salon, Salon Suite Consulting and Development Services, and soon to be House of Inc. on a brand new, exciting concept in the sweet industry that is gonna take America by storm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about ready to wrap up this video. I wanna thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedule in watching this. And I, I hope this was some interesting information for you. It's a different twist, right? How many of you out there right now are thinking about it? I think a lot, especially if you waited till all the way to the end of this video. And if you did make it to the end of this video, what's the next step? Call me. Let's talk about it one more time. Here's my number, all right? Pick up the phone, call, and stop procrastinating. Procrastinators, what happens? They lose out. They lose out on opportunities in life. 
Don't be that procrastinator. My name is Frank Bernardo. Thank you for watching.